Plenty of excitement during lunchtime today in the Crown Ballroom in Uptown Charlotte. More than a thousand students from Freedom School programs in the city celebrated summer and also celebrated learning. Freedom School is a literacy program aimed at making sure that students don't lose what they learned in the previous year and that they are ready to go back to school in the fall. This year's keynote speaker was Bonnie St. John. She's the first African-American woman to win an Olympic or Paralympic medal in ski racing. We are so happy that she is joining us. Now, thank you so much for being here. Oh, what an exciting day. The it Freedom Schools exciting. just get you all fired <laughs> yes, up. They do. I was at the luncheon today. It was really great to see how you worked your life experiences, I think, into lessons not just for the kids, but also for the adults. And I thought it was interesting. I think you might say one of your first teachers in perseverance was your nurse who had to teach you how to deal with your first prosthetic leg. I had to learn how to walk all over again, and I really had to toughen up the nerve endings on my amputated leg so that I could walk. And she pushed me and kept me going, just like the the interns and the, the volunteers do at Freedom Schools. They help these kids push beyond what they think they can do. Yeah, you really connected also reading very well for the kids. That your interest in skiing, you didn't have a coach, you found a coach in a book. I found a book called How the Racers Ski, and that helped me to be a better skier. But I also read on the book that the author had a training school for skiers. And so I rode away and got accepted and helped raise the money and I, I managed to show up all the way from San Diego, California <laughs> to Vermont at this school for ski racers. Oh. It's crazy. Story. Yes, it really was unbelievable, but I could see how the kids would make the connection. You also talked about how life had sometimes been difficult and when you consider your resume, I mean, being a medalist in the Olympic Games and the Paralympic Games, it's already a big deal, but already a Rhodes Scholar served President uh, Bill Clinton. And when people hear your resume and talk about how you do what you do, share what you shared at the luncheon about how you keep yourself together. Well, and I had a tough childhood. My father left before I was born, having my leg amputated. I had an abusive stepfather. So to get from there to there, I had to fill myself with prayer. I had to fill myself with positivity, a lot of affirmations and positive thought and positive people. And that's what they get at Freedom School is that not just the ability to read but the ability to be empowered by reading and make their lives better and make them to believe in themselves that's what I, I needed well it was a lasting message that I think the kids got a lot from it but I know the adults did too well I want to encourage everyone who's listening to think about getting involved in freedom school because it is something that works and yes. if we don't have more programs like this kids end up in jail or on the street or or unemployed and so if you're wondering what can I do that will make a difference in this crazy world, show up. You can volunteer, give money, get your company involved. There's so many ways that you can make a difference with Freedom Schools. Well, that's a perfect segue into what I want to tell everybody. If you are interested in learning more about the program, just log on to WCNC.com. We have linked to Freedom School Partners. Thank you so much for being here. Let's switch.